I have love, honor and respect for this Muslim man who hit and punched Hatun Taj at Speaker Corner London and I have reasons for that. I want to do a prayer for this man with a little lesson. So watch till the end. So why I love and respect this man? Because of this man Allah, Muhammad and Quran are exposed. Hatantash succeeded and the religion of peace trembled, shattered, scattered and failed. Hatantash success and victory over Allah, Muhammad and Quran is because of this man. Another reason why I love and respect this man who hit Hatun Taj. Allah said, this man go and fight with Hatun Taj until she subdue or you subjugate her. But again, this man failed Allah miserably. Instead of subjugating Hatun Taj, he himself got subjugated. Then Allah said in Quran 3151 that he is going to create terror in the heart of Hatun Taj. But what happened? The baby boy of Allah himself was terrorized with fear. Hatun Taj stood up victoriously and started preaching the glorious gospel and exposing the notorious Quran. On the other hand, the baby boy of Allah was subdued, subjugated and was in fear and in that fear the baby boy of Allah said he is Christian. Another reason I love and respect this man because he exposed Allah and Muhammad in this way by lying and using takya. Yes, and we caught him. We know that is a lie when he said I am a Christian. Quran 16, 106 Allah allowed Muslims that you can say you are a Christian but in your hearts you remain Muslim. So he tried to use that but we caught him and then he used the teaching of Muhammad Sahih Muslim Hadith number 4717 where Muhammad taught Muslims that you can lie in war in peace and at home with spouse which means 24-7 lie and again we caught his lie so Islam is exposed, Allah and Muhammad failed and their lies deceiving and deceit is failed here. The next reason why I love and respect this man because he followed the pattern of the companions of Muhammad. What was the pattern of the companions of Muhammad? In the battle of Uhud, many companions of Muhammad ran away cowardly, left the battle and that caused, that caused in that battle four to six teeth of Muhammad were broken. In the same way, when this man ran away from the site after punching Hatun Taj, he left behind Muhammad crying with broken teeth and what 
is next for this man now lesson for Christians and for Muslims first I want to address Christians there is a lesson here for you if any Muslim tries to fight with you subdue or tries to subjugate you stand up like Hatuntaj then he is going to run away from you like a coward like the companions of Muhammad who ran away in the battle of Ohud leaving Muhammad behind and Muhammad four to six teeth were broken in that battle so Christians stand up for your rights for your freedom and always show respect dignity and honor towards humanity towards Muslims but don't allow them to subjugate you and another lesson a lesson for Muslims in this whole incident in my video yes there is a lesson for Muslims if you man who hit Hatuntash if you want to come back at speaker corner remember remember the companion of Muhammad whose name was Ras al Kurni. When that companion of Muhammad came to know that Muhammad teeth were broken in the battle of Ohud, that companion he had broken his teeth by himself. So man, there is a choice for you. If you want to come back at speaker corner as you ran away like the companions of Muhammad cowardly, if you want to come back as a Muslim, please show up like this companion. Break your teeth yourself and then show us your teeth, your broken teeth like Muhammad. Fulfill this sunnah, fulfill this pattern of life of Muhammad and the companions of Muhammad. So show up at speaker corner like Muhammad, like the companion of Muhammad. Yes, by breaking your own teeth. Yes. As a Christian, I want to pray for your salvation because I care for you. I respect you. I want your salvation from this deceiving, from this lying and from this cowardly act. And you can repent for that and leave Islam and stand up like Hatun Tash for good. Stand up like Hatun Tash for the betterment of this society. Stand up like Hatun Tash for the truth, for good and for the truth. And I want to teach one lesson. I want to teach one lesson to the root cause the person and the thing who is the root cause of all this problem and that solution is in my black and golden Nike yes I want to give some respect I want to show some respect with a lesson to that root cause which is causing all this problem which has all these narrations which has holes the path holes i want to cover those path holes all the narrations of those holes which are causing these problems with my black and golden nike i i have i have made a bridge from my beautiful black and golden nike on those holes just to tell all the Muslims that the person and the thing who is teaching all this is under my shoe. I'm not a fan of such kind of videos, but you are responsible 
who are thinking that violence is the solution of criticism no violence is not the solution violence could never be the solution and if this man does not repent i want everyone i want everyone to remember this man who is responsible for this video and responsible for my beautiful black and golden nike who is like a bridge covering the narrations of the holes of the quran hafs and wash quran i want everyone to remember this i want anyone to share this video with this man on to all the muslims who think violence is the solution no violence is not the solution for the humanity for the critics of islam to stop you have to come to the better ideology and that is only in the message and the mount sermon of lord jesus christ come to that lord bless you for that